Hello together, my name is Steven Henson. I work by T-Systems now for five years. I uh, grew up in the valleys like a little village and now I'm here in IT in Zurich. I begin my development career by the, by the sixth group as a web developer. After them, I have the possibility to go to the T-Systems and there now I'm very strange, like, <laughs> can I probably? Or is better <laughs> when I use the micro? Okay, I use the micro. Okay, I'm, I, we are ready. I'm ready, and we can start also uh, slide deck. What I will bring to you is Pulse as a perfect fully maximizing the benefits of DevOps because what I see on my customer side, DevOps and the development is very agile and what are the platforms in a cloud stack that are able to handle this on also on customer side. And for this, I will show you in res retrospective one, two slides. One slide is the top of them. We start the major release since years before software development. And in this part, we have a very slow interaction. That means the business requirements going on. Then we have the development. We build up big packages bring these big packages in a production. And what is very interesting, when we go with these packages in production, then we have damages. In my experience is when we have a big major release in one year, we have in the after five to eight weeks, 10 to 12 patches and hotfixes. That means the process to bring up all the kind of stuff what we needed to have a quality of service in the software is not able to live in this environment. And the next steps coming up with the agile releases, that means the business process with structured environment and uh, requirement build-ups, agile development, little packages, bring up these little packages to the releases, but also there we have these little damages in the operation side. And the next steps are now where we are. We are in a DevOps environment with the Governance also, the operation governance on developer side means the developer work with the, with the emotional perspective like an administrator. And for this, we saw that we have the possibility in the agile application development to bring also the infrastructure together. This is the step one. Step two is, which environment in the cloud is able to handle it respectfully is the best guess to work with the DevOps environment, also with the 
self developed and ex ex uh, softwares. For IIS, we are only have the infrastructure, okay. IIS Plus managed OS, okay, we leave it. And then we came up in a pass platforms. There we hear also the colleague from Swisscom with Cloud Foundry or with our site, with, we work with Red Hat and OpenShift. There we have a platform to be agile and can have the interfaces to the developer and also to handle the infrastructure. In the first generation, we made the failure that we have implemented the OpenShift cluster in a virtualized environment. The first thing of our side was, oh, then we can handle all the infrastructure resources and after them we can bring the service to the customer. But the problem in this case is we lose then non-functional requirements because when we have a virtualization and then a container virtualization again, this is not e efficient. And for that, we are going in the next step, also in a bare metal infrastructure, that we are can handle this, this, this part of requirements that we also have these non-functional uh, requirements fulfilled. The other parts on the software as a service layer is, is not the best easy, easy going way to have uh, or handle um, DevOps because there we consult services from a provider directly and is for the DevOps not the best guess. So, what I mean this in a T-Systems point of view? There you see, layered up the infrastructure, what we have implemented. Left on the bottom, we have the private cloud from our side. This is the dynamic cloud platform. In all our strategic data center, we provide it. But we have the strategic point of view in the middle, the dedicated and dynamic bare metal orchestration. Because there we saw we can fulfill the non-functional requirements and we don't create overhead on milliseconds. On the right side, you see also on the bottom the public potential, what we can implement the, the, the OpenShift or our, our product APHIL. That means we can also handle with Azure and the Open Telecom Cloud is a public cloud environment what we launched in the CBIT in Europe, like Amazon or Azure. The next step on top of them, we're going to integrate two topics. And one topic from them is the Docker environment for the PaaS platform. And we bring also the small, big and huge data topic to the same technology stack. And the reason is there, we saw on the customer side that application and data will go together in context of analytics, in context of fast, huge agility, elastics, in this kind of work. That means, on top level of them, we saw then the idle processes like CI, CD, continuous improvement, and continuous deployment. And over there, we have handled the DevOps processes to fulfill the requirements on the customer side. And this is the build up APA child and big data platform from the T system side to bring on the customer side three topics in one hand, from one hand. That means the application stack on the customer side means this that the PaaS platform 
with the Docker microservices is in your hand and you have to bring your application in this part that you are able to handle it, like self-healing and auto-scaling, because there is very important to, to handle this, and also the DevOps engineering. This is also a culture change is coming up into the customer side or oh, so on, on our side to have also the IDs on the right right point. This is very important. And what we can do with this, we can rapid prototyping all this kind of stuff with middleware as a service and database as a services. The data management stack, what we also integrated then, then you have also a Hadoop products or NoSQL in memory, in memory products and then you have a together consumption application with data. And after that, you have on the right side, in the middle, the analytics stacks, and you can also, your data scientists bring in a good position from your side in a DevOps context, in a cross-function team, to handle this application forward. From another point of perspective, what we also see now is more where we place products in these topics. On the bottom, you see the APA channel pass platform, what we have described. The strategic direction is dedicated dynamic bare metal platform. Um, we can bring up in a private cloud or public cloud also. And then on top of them, the DevOps managed middleware services like pass. What we provide is two environments. One environment is for the Developer environment means you have all rights on this OpenShift cluster. You can install and manage the OpenShift cluster himself. And when you go after them in production, we also provide uh, the possibility this in the production environment that we manage the OpenShift cluster. And you have then an SLA like 740 to bring also this, this kind of, of requirements to your customers. And that means that we have in the middle the same technology stack like the Docker environment and bare metal orchestration and these different nodes. In technology stack means we have a Hadoop node perhaps integrated, we have a MongoDB node, a Cassandra node, a Tomcat node, Jabos node, all there, what we need and have also the, the requirements to can scale, we bring the master and, and the worker nodes together to bring the consumption from the application to the customer. And on top of them, we have on the left side, the big data analytics and management products and ab uh, abilities to bring to the customers and on the right side, the application stack with the continuous integration, Jenkins, Maven, Git, and all this kind of stuff also there. What is very important in an enterprise market is the top of them layer on customer side. Top of layer on customer side with the processes and the methodology means that when you are an idle driven company, you will have your own processes, but you will also have the ability to use this agility. That means in an idle perspective, you go in an integration layer and will work with interfaces with your platform. And then it came up new technologies and, and patterns, the cloud patterns like hot Tosca or heat patterns 
to fulfill this requirement that you can integrate your enterprise ITIL framework as a portal with your cloud. That means we have to enable DevOps, and what we saw on this picture is on the bottom we have the service providers with different cloud stacks possibilities. And we have to enable the layer on top with the requirements that we can orchestrate and with the continuous delivery. This is the logic and modules. And for the business, we have to bring up the dashboards and the logic with the control and transparency. That they saw what is on the cost side, what is on the efficiency side going on, that we can handle it. What we made in the last half year with Ape Agile, with an OpenShift cluster, we have implemented an agape that you can also uh, bring on your on your iPhone that helps in dimension research. The telecom have this idea with with a common and with a with a startup that the idea was one one symptom in a in a dementia is you lose the orientation. And this topic was the start point to say, okay, let us make a game that we can benchmark normal structures from a population, they are very great. That means two minutes playing on this game left five hours work in a scientist. And for this we have supported this ID and bring up this game on this technology stack, what I before draw you to, to say, okay, let us bring the ideas from the customer side and the technology side together. And this game will, will have uh, the idea to bring more ideas in a market how we can use technology in a context that makes sense, sense in the context that we also bring together to, the, to us. It's a very interesting project there. And we launched this in the May, Sea Hero Quest, and perhaps it is a possibility for you that you can start it also. For me, I will, will have now a little discussion with you and also to feel what, what is your experience, respectively, what, what, what do you think, what is the next generation of DevOps? Have you experience with DevOps? Are you working with DevOps? You are, work you are working with DevOps? Yes, of course. Of course. How great is your team? Eight people, and you are fully have the full control over all in the in the project. That means you have a cross-function team implemented. You have the full competence to go in this direction, and you have only the CFO that say, "Okay, the money is okay." Like this. <laughs> Other experiences. Have you experience if, with, with a past platform like Cloud Foundry or like OpenShift? We in T-Systems, we have the strategic part on the OpenShift platform, but we also work with Cloud Foundry together. Um, 
What we saw is in this part, in the last two years, there are very, very great changes there. And in my opinion, the OpenShift with Docker is for, for the moment very stable and we can also work with customer in a high performance computing rate with this part of technology and this is very, very great. What is also the next step is the OpenStack implementation like what I discussed with Tosca Patton. Is every there they use these patterns or they have know-how on, on it? OpenStack implementations. This, I will say, is the next great step will come up because then we can lose only one provider. That means when we can implement open interfaces and orchestration with OpenStack, then we can change also the providers easily. And what I also will, will provide to you is, when you go in a DevOps engagement in your organization, in your company, then be careful, this is a very organizational change. Because you have in one team the whole possibility to go in a direction and this is not easy for all yeah, people in a, in a company. This is my, my experience there. Okay, only for the backup slide. Um, what we have available on the software stack today is like this. What you can see, um, there come more and more middleware components on top of them already. And what I also will say to you is, when you have the possibility to implement a little stack with a DevOps engagement, then go to a public cloud provider, use there the yeah, the platform as a service and go for the first steps to to feel what is what is come. Thank you and have a nice